Hello, Internet. Hello, stream friends. Uh, I'm going to play some Full Throttle, because it's a real good game. I'm going to turn off TweetDeck so it doesn't <laughs> keep making noises. Uh, also with me is uh, my buddy Kelsey Marquart. Marquart? Sorry. Yes. Marquart. Sorry. We'll get it. <laughs> Marquart. <laughs> Uh, my name hey. is Nick. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we started playing this. Uh, this is one of your favorite games. It is. Like yes. ever. Yes. Right? Yep. Um, I've played like the first third of it, I think. Never yep. finished it because I'm bad at adventure games. Uh, <laughs> even though I love them. But we started playing this on my channel uh, after we tried to play Space Quest 4, but turns out that that game is terrible. <laughs> so uh, we stopped playing that and then immediately switched to, in like midstream one time, switched to full throttle. We're actually going to start it over here uh, for the Stream Friends channel, um, but since since we know what to do... I mean, you know, when you know what to do in an adventure game, you can burn through it pretty quickly. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to restart it here. Oh shoot, can I not just... oh well. Come on, scum, where's my cursor? Little screen, big screen, there we go. I'm adamant that this is one of the best intros of all time. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it is. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Can you reshare the screen when you get a second? Sure. Thanks. Two things. Asphalt. And trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. That work? Listen, yep. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your This plan, game is Burger. still you're waiting for me to die just so, you can so take beautiful. My it really is. The, horrible. the sky I'm alone, the huge clouds and everything are you the greatest. They move. You. Later yeah. on. <laughs> I just, I love the, all of the character designs. But this latest idea of yours. Everybody squints. Everybody mm -hmm. watches that over the game because it's very rare that anyone opens their eyes enough. And I'm wondering if that's a product of like some kind of pollution or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just a product of whoever was the art director for this game. <laughs> Oh, I'd be on one right now, sir. If it were uh, but uh, stabilizing energy. Yeah, the animation is just great. Ah, All the character designs. I should have titled this Let's it's Squint at Full Throttle. <laughs> this is a great song. It is. The uh, album you can get the album, it's called Bone to Pick by Gone Jackals, and I listen to it at least once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Even still? Yeah, it's it's on Spotify, so I'm sure that like at least a hundred of those plays are mine, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if uh, people in the chat could let me know if the audio is good, I would Hi, appreciate chat. it. Hello, chat. Can you reshare? <laughs> Man, I don't know why that. It worked great. For us, I know the once first upon time. A time. Yeah. Yeah, late title card. Okay, Mark good. Hamill plays three roles in this game. Nice. Wait, does he play any of the people we've seen so far? Yes, um, Rip Burger, the guy who's talking in oh, purple right. with the long face. Uh, 
It's kind of that's kind of uh, poetic in a way. How so? Considering the reason he went into one of the main reasons he went into voice acting was because of a horrible motorcycle accident. That's right. Yeah, his um, you can definitely tell in Empire Strikes Back the difference between his facial structure there and in A New Hope. Yeah. And that's why they, that's why I believe they actually wrote in the Wampa attack to have a reason for him to be kind of beat up looking. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I actually always thought it was after all of the Star Wars. Nope. So it was, it was after Empire, but before... No, it's af- it was after A New Hope and before Empire. Oh, really? Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, right. um, go. You can definitely tell if you watch him back to back, like the difference in his facial structure and stuff. Sure. I haven't seen those movies in too long. Hey, Ben. Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. I just wanted to know how they made their money. Because they seem to be yeah. nice, nice guys, legit, but it's never explained how they make cash. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. Well, I mean... <laughs> you never even have <laughs> right. money in the game. Who's the guy that That's true. My car? I mean, they're nice guys for, uh, you know, <laughs> bikers in a strange sort of declining... What could dystopia. So long? You're, they're one of your nicer biker gangs. Sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. So much amazing voice talent in this game, too. Improbable. Absolutely. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> the Falcon, isn't that illegal? Not back then, it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I, I like how he calls it a club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have meetings every Tuesday. <laughs> Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. I wonder who was who the uh, the art director was for this game. Well compensated for your time. Let's find out. Not interested. I wonder if it's any of the the current artists. Listen, I said we're not at uh, double fine. Are not going to find out right now. Not even if it were The artist is Peter Chan. Oh yeah, okay. That makes sense. Does it? I'm gonna hold on there. Yeah, he's. If you don't mind, I'd like to. I don't know if he's like actually permanently on the payroll of Double Fun, but he's definitely works with them a lot. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he did a lot of um, concept stuff for. Uh, and the doctor says he only has a few months. Uh, broken to... Age. That's yep, uh, I'm looking at his website right it's now. He's nice working guy. on a massive chalice. He worked on Broken Age, like Iron Brigade, guy. Brutal Legends, what Psychonauts. And he did a whole bunch of movies, which I had no idea. That's, That's awesome. Cool. If you come to the show, Monsters University. You'll find out what it is. Coraline. No dice. Wow, that's burger. cool. The yeah. Hey, that guy, I mean, he rent. is really good. My muscle, you should go find the oh, he did the storyboards for Phantom Menace. I have, uh, my dad has those, have the reproductions good. of those in a tin. That's awesome. I never that's made that connection. Wow, that's really that's cool. That's cool. I think he worked at LucasArts a long time. Well, duh. I just said I just said a real dumb thing. We were just talking about that, Nick. We'll strike that from the record. <laughs> yeah, no one no one heard that. I'll go back and edit that out later. That stuff shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out. They definitely the have the lamest mascot though out of all well, the then, all the biker roll, gangs boys. in the area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a weasel thing. <laughs> 
Actually, before we were playing this, before, I totally thought Polecat always just meant... Uh, I thought that was just, a, like, another name for Skunk. Mm-hmm. I know what you have to do here. I just like punching the... Me too. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Um, I just played and reviewed Blackwell Epiphany. Uh-huh. And there's a part where Rosa is by a dumpster, and I made her kick it. And I oh, thought really? Of battle, and I'm like, maybe that's an homage. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the first things you can do in the game, is kick the dumpster. <laughs> yep. Take that. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these. So Look, he recycles. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. Yeah, Ben's all right. Though, I mean, he's about to be a little less all right. It's closed. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. <laughs> Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Rag Ragnissa in the chat says, use lips on everything. I'm we will. My lips <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> that, that's one of my favorite lines, actually. I'm not putting my lips on that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ben. We know you make out with your bike when no one's looking. <laughs> Can you reshare? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> fixed your oh wait, door. no, never mind. It was sticky. <laughs> Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. Oh hi Austin. So what'll it be, Mac? Did not see you there. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, he said hi guys. Sorry about that. Hi everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. So, for the benefit of chat, I want to say that something I told you at the very beginning, even though I don't know, I can't hear it right now, but mm. I can hear it in my head perfectly. Because I played this so many times as a oh, kid. Yeah. Everybody head off to like, I can hear everyone's tone of voice, I know in the... Director. Notes of the music are coming in. It's a little freaky, but <laughs> but this this has been so ingrained into my head. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Much like the first Star Wars movie. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I I know exactly what we're talking about. I mean, not with this game specifically. Mm -hmm. I never I never played the Lucas Arts games adventure games when they were current. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I, know who me I was on the wrong side of history, and I played all the out. Sierra games. <laughs> you should learn to handle your liquor. Yeah, this was one of my very first games. Um, I remember playing it with my dad when I was five. Probably keys. he probably bought it when it first came out, no actually, because it came cool. out in '95. Um, and you had to do. It was a DOS you know, game, so you had to do the DOS nose. prompt to start it up. What? At that point. <laughs> <laughs> the bar. There probably was a Windows copy, but we had the DOS copy. <laughs> or something. But, uh... All right, all right. Look at the twinkle in that bartender's eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's He's really so... good. They told me to store you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. I wonder how they produce the art Here in this at the right. time. I don't know. I mean, oh, uh, is this still the scum engine? Just a really modified version of it? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't do too good of a job there. I'm pretty sure it's it's the they use the same ones. I all, better get all the way through LucasArts adventure games. Yep, it was the tenth game to use the Scum Adventure game engine. 
Oh, so I was four when this came out. Because my birthday's in October, this came out in April. So, I don't know. This is one of my very first game memories. Well, I'm glad you are here to share it with us. Yay! Yay! And it's really good because I'm, I, as I said before, I'm bad at adventure games, and I get, <laughs> I love them. Like, like I said before, I, you know, I played them a lot when I was younger, but I always played them with friends. Right. I, p I played them with my dad, and then, yeah. um, then, you're in my way. then later, I graduated, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, didn't need, I didn't need him to help me with stuff anymore. But uh, those are some good memories. We played Seventh Guest together, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's some stuff in that game that I don't... I don't know if I would play with a five, four, five, six-year-old daughter. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry. That's okay. It actually oh. fit it fit with what's about to happen in the game here. So. Um. I'm just gonna click on this guy's head a whole lot. Whoops. Move the window. Um. Yeah, seventh guest. Maybe. I mean. I, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm exaggerating no, it, it. But it's like. Kind of, it. <laughs> the picture on the back of the um. The strategy guide scared me more than watching the actual game. <laughs> except yeah. For, except for, like, certain animations were really creepy. Regnesis says, I played the seventh guest when I was eight and it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff is, a, stuff is really creepy and the children's voices are creepy. But um, if you can read the script, that's even scarier. I don't, and it's probably because of the acting, but I mean the acting is fine. It's like a B movie. Yeah. There was uh, um, I was hanging out on another friend who was streaming that. Uh, I don't know, like six months ago or so. Um, <laughs> and uh, she was doing this puzzle. I forget what it was even, but like the if you took too long, like one of the hints was like something there stars in the spaces, but no space in or something like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And that's supposed to be your clue. And yeah. it, it, I guess it does make sense afterwards, but it when you're first doing it, it doesn't really. But yeah, the end of that line is like and we just kept repeating that over and over again. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Yay! Yay! Are you? Maureen. A mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike. Can you reshare? My bike. Yeah. What have you done with my Thanks. bike? Maureen is the best. Brought it back from the dead. Yes, she is. Sort of like what I did with you. <laughs> little help getting says though. the scratch on his nose is already gone. She can fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. <laughs> you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Mm -hmm. Reshare didn't work, Same I think. Mo, okay. Girl, I guess. <laughs> she just told me she asked her last name and she says, I prefer not to use it. Yes. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why that is. It's an authorized poorly service center. Bloodfist, what's the other full it's throttle game? Poorly service center. But I don't have the official paperwork. 
I know that they were going to make a sequel, and they had a trailer for it, and it never got made, which is probably for the best, because it looked more like an action-y, fighting, punching people game, which is, I feel, not in the spirit, but whatever. I grew up working on him with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Excuse? Excuse no, you? Weed's not the <laughs> <of> town. <laughs> What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. It's because you're awesome, Mo. <laughs> I like how their knee patches match. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, so you'll have to get some new ones. I also like that she needs knee patches on her mechanic outfit. <laughs> you know, she's probably kneeling down a lot. Like that would hurt without pads. True. Patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel, and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> Whatever blows your hair back. <laughs> Let me know if you need any aspirin. <laughs> Ragnasa says, look, knee patches are just in right now, okay? <laughs> I mean, there probably isn't a whole lot of, uh... Probably isn't a whole lot of like knee patch manufacturers in Probably. whatever strange, <laughs> not really apocalypse, post apocalypse setting that this is in. <laughs> I heard you say my it's life. real deserty. There are hover cars. Yeah, but don't worry. Uh, I wasn't but there's still this. society somewhere. Like there's newspapers right. and. Roadside disaster photos, and you helped. I mean, she's got to be a reporter for somewhere. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. <laughs> Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs True. to the if, uh, shareholders meeting. Anderson the newspapers probably still don't run control. in the apocalypse. <laughs> right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like unless yeah. unless she is just some <laughs> like fallout style crazy person that thinks she's reporting for a paper that doesn't exist. <laughs> This is hard for me. I, I need. Come on, man, spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. I can't even imagine Ben in a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Visually. We talked about this before, but I was I always thought that that was because well, I'd better be going. He was just too much of a a dude, a man, dude. <laughs> manly man to ask for help uh -huh. but then you pointed out that it also mm -hmm. it's also quite possible or more probable that it's just because he hates cars <laughs> <laughs> I think at some point he does he even says explicitly that he doesn't like them yeah He's, there's some line somewhere like I don't touch anything with more than two wheels or something yeah. like that uh, rude <laughs> thanks for the Thanks for the lip. <laughs> now I got a quote for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't close the mailbox. It's very important. <laughs> okay, now we can move on. Okay. <laughs> Little tiny Ben sprite. Yay! It's like four <laughs> pixels. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Who's out 
This is Mark Hamill's second voice. I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. <laughs> I don't got time to waste on bums like. <laughs> That's just great, like comedic timing in the editing, right there. <laughs> Just cut to the eyes getting wider, and then... This view defines Bam! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... So I said before at the top of the video, I, we're just barreling through this first part here. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... I was going to say, I really love the song in this part. Yes. The first time I played this, I uh, <laughs> just hung out here for a while. But I'm still chasing. <laughs> turn the volume up on the stream. What were you going to say? I'm, I'm reading the chat. My scook says the reporter sounds like Kristen Shaw, and I can't remember who does the reporter's voice. Um, Ragnasa wants us to use lips on Todd. <laughs> and um, Bloodfist thinks we're that. still playing um, Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you reshare? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, there is going to be more some more Mobius later. Yes. Yeah, I got it back. I'm not putting my lips on that. Um. Don't forget the stuff in the fridge that doesn't look like a fridge. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a weird place to put a refrigerator. It looks like cabinets. <laughs> yeah. Ah, adventure games. I had to make <laughs> the guy walk away so that I could click on the thing that I needed to take. <laughs> Plus he's just got a loose slab of meat sitting in his fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean... I like that weird Tin Man guy in the back. He's, I, you know, that's pretty cool. And the ostrich is neat too. I, I think Ben is too dismissive of this art. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of I kind of like all this stuff. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. I nominate that as least show. <laughs> I don't think we looked at that one last time. <laughs> I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Damn! Come on, man. He's just doing... Doing his thing. I'm gonna step away for a second. My work phone keeps ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, Hold on. no problem. Oh, it was just I'll just sit problem. here and be lonely. A pair of forks, little gas, and we're set. I love the grin on his face. When he walks in there with the torch. All right, so we got the, the torch. Let's go to the um, junkyard next. Oh, wait. We can't go to the junkyard next. We got to go to whatever this thing is next. The oil oil fields, I guess? I don't actually don't even know what that is. 